What's up guys, I just wanted to take a minute and show you my new AK-74 variant. Um, had it for a couple weeks, I call it the Polish Tantalizer. Um, yeah, you're probably going to be seeing this rifle a lot in this project, or on this channel. Sorry, I thought I was nothing fancy there for a second. Um, yeah, it is a... Uh, it is a century build. Um, it started its life as a Polish Tantal, which I've switched out the furniture. Um, you know, put some I put some Bulgarian plum furniture on that from Apex Gun Parts. Um, put a U.S. made uh, 74 brake on there. Um, yeah, that's about it. it. Other than that, it's just your standard 74. Uh, the uh, finish is AK or HK uh, semi gloss Duracoat, so we'll be seeing how that goes. Um, purpose of this video is for me to kind of introduce this rifle and just kind of say that since it is a century build, we'll be kind of you know keeping an eye on it throughout the next couple months. Um, seeing if it malfunctions or anything um, generally speaking as all, all of you know probably uh, Century doesn't have the best reputation as far as quality but I will say that this rifle has really impressed me I can't find a single thing wrong with it um, I mean it's it's made tight all the rivets are round uh, there's no mag wobble um, no key holing uh, if you <clears throat> If you're in the market for one of these, make sure that it has a serial number beginning in Y. If you if you get one of those, it, it should have the actual 545 barrel, and you shouldn't get any key holing. Um, so, you know, little little tip there for you. Um, obviously, that that hasn't been verified. That's just something I found on the internet, and it's proven to be true in my experience, which is. It doesn't really go outside the extent of this one firearm, but uh, yeah, uh, we'll see how this goes, and just keep an eye on it. If it malfunctions, I'll let you know. Later. That's going to be cool. You'll be able to tell what I'm doing when it's happening. <laughs> 